I feel like one of the most important things I can teach you guys is how to create followers on social media. And specifically, how to grow followers through content on social media. Because in order to get on Amazon Influencer Program and YouTube's Partner Program and TikTok Shop and all the things, you gotta get to a certain number of followers. So let's start with getting you to 1,000 followers, okay? That's your first milestone. I always say 1,000, then 5,000, then 10,000, then 50,000, then 100,000. Those are like the big milestone numbers that really get you the next to the next leg. So 1,000, then 5,000, start there, okay? So some people might go to ChatGPT and type something in like, how do I get to 1,000 followers on TikTok? And you're gonna get an answer that's generic that you could read on any blog. That is not what we wanna be using ChatGPT for. We wanna get really specific with ChatGPT, okay? This is where the power comes in. Now, so this was really super generic, it's not gonna work. So I'm gonna say something like this. What frameworks work best on TikTok? Hooks and such. All right, so now look what we've got. Capturing attention in the first three seconds. Examples of effective hooks. Frameworks for storytelling and structure. All right, this is still going to be overwhelming for anybody that is first starting out. But we can drill down into each one of these components to come up with our uh, what, what's going to work for us, okay? So let's just say we're going to do these hooks, number one. Okay, let's just work on number one. Love the idea of exploring hooks. My niche is home and garden. Now I just hit enter. Now watch what happens. All right, here we go. Problem solving hooks. Struggling to keep your house plants alive? Try this. Here's why your tomatoes aren't growing and how to fix it. Tired of weeds taking over your garden? Watch this hack. Then it's got curiosity-driven hooks, transformational hooks. But you know what? I bet you don't even care what those hooks are based on. So let's just say, give me 101 hooks for my niche without the category categories. Each video should idea should be should not take more than one minute to cover. You're overwatering your plants. Here's how to fix it. That is such a good hook. This DIY trick will transform any room in your home. Struggling with pests in your garden? Try this natural solution. We just got, in a, just a few questions, we got an unbelievable list of opening hooks for somebody that's in the home and garden niche, okay? But if you just went to ChatGPT and just started typing in like we did, you wouldn't have gotten this. So it's because I have an experience in this space that allows me to know what kind of questions to ask. You might not know that. All right, so we got this. Now let's try another niche. Okay, let's do this for someone that does product reviews. Um, most of their reviews are for fashion, beauty, house, and pets. Now we're gonna get a whole nother set of opening hooks. Here are 100 hooks for Fashion Beauty House. This $10 beauty product is better than high-end brands. You won't believe how soft this sweater feels. Watch this. I tested this viral pet brush and here's what happened. And guys, you can replace this with that. I tested this 
we can replace this with thermal hairbrush and this is what happened. Or I tested this pink, uh, I'm gonna tell uh, TikTok there are some rules. We don't say the words viral or dupe, okay? So, so what I will do when I'm working with ChatGPT is I have the paid version of ChatGPT and it has a memory. So it will store my specific instructions. So if I say TikTok doesn't allow us to say the word dupe or TikTok doesn't allow us to whatever, it will save that and then it'll give me, a, it'll give me another list. So right now it's giving me a whole list on just fashion. This coat has a hidden feature you'll love. So let's just say TikTok just sent you a coat and you're gonna review it. This coat has a hidden feature. Go find what the he hidden feature is. It's the fleece lining. It's the removable hood. It's the extra hidden zipper. You know what I'm saying? Can you believe these shoes cost under $50? That is your opening line. These are phenomenal, guys. I know because I do TikTok. Now you could also do these on YouTube. You could also do these on other platforms. But this is, when you tell it what your platform is, it will do better. So let me give you an example. Let's say my platform is YouTube. Okay, now, my platform is YouTube. I'm doing two long form videos per week. Give me a new set of ideas. Ten budget-friendly fashion staples everyone needs in their closet. The best jeans for every body type. A try-on review. Seasonal capsule wardrobe. You're getting the idea because TikTok, we're doing these short, under one-minute videos, but on YouTube, you're going to do long form. You're well. You you'll probably do both. You can do the short form and you can do the long form, right? The long form is what pays. The short form is what drives the traffic to your channel creates new followers, new interest, okay? You get the idea here. Now watch this. Okay, now let's change the niche. I am a digital marketer. I specialize in teaching people how to make money online. I'm using YouTube. Guys, there are tools you have to pay for that don't do as well as this. But it's all about how we prompt it. How to start making money online with zero investment. Affiliate Marketing 101, how to earn passive income in 2024. Now watch this. You can also tell ChatGPT who you are and what your style is. So I'm gonna say here, my style is no face on camera as much as possible. And I prefer more Step by step on screen tutorials. Screen capture of my computer screen. Now it's gonna revise these to fit my style. How to start affiliate marketing for free, a step-by-step -step guide. How to build a money-making blog, earn $500 a month with this simple Pinterest pin strategy. How to create an Amazon affiliate storefront in 10 minutes. These are perfection. This is so good. So good. This is, this is why I don't understand. No, I do understand. Everybody gets stuck on content creation because they don't understand how to use tools like ChatGPT to help them identify the platform, the style, the niche. All right, let's, let's start from ground zero. I want to make money online. I think I want to review products on Amazon and maybe TikTok shop without showing my face. But my coach says I have to get to 1,000 followers on TikTok first. I don't have a niche. What should I do? <laughs> Let's see what it says. Start with products you already have. This is great. Household items, personal favorites, everyday essentials. Two, create TikTok videos without showing your face. Hands-only tutorials, voiceovers, okay? 
Three, experiment to find your niche. Play around with tech gadgets, home organization, beauty and skincare, pet products. Look at what's already trending for inspiration. Then to build to 1,000 followers, you're gonna post two to three videos per day. This is spot on, guys, spot on. Engage with others, comment on popular videos, in, with other people in your platform, spot on. And I'm not talking about these ridiculous teamwork trends. I'm not saying, hey everybody, I'll follow you if you'll follow me. Post here and I'll post there. That is garbage and TikTok knows it. It'll build you followers, but it won't build you genuine followers. Instead, go watch people that actually are doing what you want to do. And comment, if you want to review um, kitchen gadgets, go find people that are talking about their favorite air fryer recipes and genuinely comment at how they helped you or you tried it and then this happened in a positive way or you can't wait to get your hands on that air fryer, okay? Ride the trends. Use trending audio and format to make it relevant to your product reviews. Yes, absolutely. Ask for follow-ups in the CTA. Optimize for Amazon. These are great. These are phenomenal. Okay, great. Now, let's say you want to make money on TikTok and Instagram, but you have no idea where you want to go with it. You don't know that you want to review products. All you know is you want to make money online. Okay, let's say I don't even know if I want to review products. I know I want to make money online, but don't know what options there are. Let's just say TikTok. All right, now it's gonna talk to you about certain monetization strategies. Now these aren't always, TikTok's always changing the names of things or changing the follower accounts, but so don't bank on that kind of data. Just get the idea. So what it's basically saying is there are programs that will pay you just to talk. And that is true. I'm part of one of them. Affiliate marketing and TikTok. Yes, that's one way to go. Creating digital products. Yes, that's another way to go. Offering services. Yes, selling products. Okay, so all of these things. And then it tells you, gives you a TikTok plan. Okay, so let's say, help me find a niche. Ask me some questions about my life and interests that may help us find a niche that could make money on TikTok. You can do the same thing for YouTube, you do the same thing for Pinterest, you can do the same thing for blogs. But I like talking about one platform at a time because I think it takes us down a different um, avenue, a different strategy. Do it, <laughs> it stopped. Okay, here we go. Um, I don't like when it asks more than one question at a time. So I'm going to say, ask me one question at a time. What's something you're really passionate about or enjoy doing in your free time? In your free time. What do I like doing in my free time? I like um, genealogy. Building my family tree. That's an amazing interest. Would you be interested in sharing tips, tools, or stories? Um, yes, but how would I monetize that? Monetizing a genealogy niche on TikTok is definitely possible and it can be rewarding. So affiliate marketing, sending people to DNA tests, genealogy software, genealogy books. You could sell digital products related. So it's asking you basically, do you want to talk about or teach building your family tree. So what I might say is I'm no expert. I only want to share stories maybe and some tips on strategies. I don't want to teach it though. So you gotta be really honest with ChatGPT and tell it where your limitations are, okay? So example, TikTok, I discovered my great grandmother's immigration record using this amazing tool. Ooh, that's a good one. Affiliate links for platforms, um, how it works. Okay, let me, let me see. give me an example of three topics per day for 30 days. That would be 90 topics. Oh wait, 
I'm also going to say, and keep them at one minute. So remember, long form on YouTube is going to be totally different than one minute stories and whatnot on TikTok. So here you go. Day one, how I found a photo of my great grandparents for the first time. Day two, oh, nope, these need to be, oh, day one, how I found a photo of my great grandparents. So there's your morning, then your afternoon. One simple way I started my family tree. Third, fun fact, did you know census records can reveal hidden family details? This is perfection. Okay, now let's try another niche. Ask me questions. Ask me a question. All right, what's something people often ask you advice for? Ooh, all right, this is a good one. How to move on after a divorce. This is a true story in my case. All right, here we go. Would you feel comfortable sharing personal insights, tips, or stories about your experience? Absolutely. All right, now it's going to tell you themes to explore, okay? Since I need to make three pieces of content every day, give me a 30-day plan, each video under one minute. Starting over, story, how I felt the day I signed the divorce papers and the very first thing I did for myself after. Tip, one simple mantra I used to stop overthinking about my ex. Three, motivation, use a trending sound with a caption, the comeback is always stronger than the setback. This is genius. This is genius, it's perfection. And guys, this could go on and on. All you have to do is say, do the next week. And here's what you do, you save this Let's just say you're using ChatGPT as an assistant, which I do. It's way cheaper than paying for an assistant. I will save that thread. I'll rename it. Like up here, I'll click rename, and I'm going to rename this Divorce Topics. Life After Divorce Topics. Now I'll save this. So now whenever I need to go get the next week, I just go in there and continue it. Day 13. Here's day 14. Here's day 15. You see? Okay, let's say I like to cook. Give me a 30-day plan for the cooking niche. My style is family-focused, quick, easy meals. Got to be specific. Day one, recipe, one pan chicken and veggies in 30 minutes. Two, how to meal prep chicken for the week in 20 minutes. Three, the secret to perfectly crispy sheet pan meals. So you're, you're able to make these, guys. And if you don't want, let's just say on day three, you're not actually making quesadillas. I mean, why not plan around this? You might as well. You can plan your meal prep around your cooking schedule. But you can just mix and match these. Watch this. I could say, give me four weeks, because this will give you a month, and put them um, on a, in a table. I'm going to say a table. I don't know if it'll work if I say spreadsheet. It might. Let's see what it does. Give it to me in a table. Look at this. Now, copy and paste this over to your Google Sheets or whatever spreadsheet you use. Then, when you put it in your spreadsheet, you can move these around. You can sort them. You can, we don't need the categories. You could move those around if you don't, you can just say get rid of the categories. Don't need the categories. All kinds of ways to do this. You can copy and paste this and put it in your Apple Notes, okay? You could say, I don't need the categories. I'm starting this on January 1st, 2025. Give me this in a calendar. Okay, so it's taking a little bit longer to create this one because it has to go look up the January 2025 dates. Here it comes. Look at this. January 1st, 2025. The first content, the second content, the third content. You can stretch this to make it bigger. Now you can copy and paste this over to a Google Sheet 
and it will be completely functioning and sortable, okay? Guys, my point to all of this is that you are only limited if you're limited by ideas, you're only limited by sitting down and not having a conversation with ChatGPT about you, your style, your status. Just keep having it ask you questions till you get to what you want. Then tell it what you want to do next, how you might want to make money, what platform you might want to use. And if you don't know, have it keep asking you questions. Go back here and say, what other platforms watch this i want to do pinterest i hear you can make money as a blogger help me determine my niche ask one question at a time don't worry about your spelling because it knows okay here we go first question what are you passionate about da -da 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 -da. Um, give me more options. Personal development, health and wellness, money management, tech and gadgets, beauty, hobbies, pets, relationships, education, sustainable living, events and parties, wedding planning, side hustles. Okay, let's go with side hustles. I'm going to, I'm doing this because of me. That's something I'm interested in. All right, let's go side hustles. Great choice. Next question. What type of side hustles are you most interesting in covering? Whatever ones make money. I plan to use an AI writing tool and image creator. I know Pinterest users been around forever are going to cringe, but it works. All right. Uh, next question. Are you looking to focus more on quick start, low cost, long term, higher income? all of the above but whatever does best on pinterest perfect pinterest thrives on visually appealing and actionable content so we'll focus on side hustles that align with that do you prefer creating content that focuses on step-by-step -step guides inspirational ideas ooh, or product recommendations all right um, all of the above again, but let's start with list style posts because I know those do well on Pinterest. It's funny because that's actually, I just shifted my entire focus for one of my accounts to list posts. Um, would you like to target a broad audience or stay at home moms? Ooh, that's a good one. You can really target specific niches because retirees are going to be a totally different conversation for side hustles than stay at home moms are going to be based on time, ability, functionality, all right? Busy professionals adding side incomes. What do you want to focus on? I'm going to focus on retirees. That's my cat in the background. She's meowing because she wants to play. All right. Do you want them to be tech friend? Oh, I'm going to go with tech. Ooh, leveraging their life experiences is another good one. Okay, so obviously we're getting incredibly granular here and we don't have to get as granular. Do you want to focus more on, on income? Okay, I think we are getting too granular. You could say, I think this is too specific, blah, blah, blah. We're just going to go with side hustles for retirees. That's our account. Side hustles for retirees. Okay, let's go with a website um about side hustles for retirees give me 10 blog name ideas encore earnings golden side hustles silver hustle stories retire and thrive the hustling senior oh my gosh make them no more than three words and put the dot com after so this is just so that I can look and see what it looks like with the dot com without the spaces. Golden Hustles. Oh my gosh. I guarantee you that one's gone and it might even be inappropriate. Let's see. Goldenhustles.com. Yep. Not secure. <laughs> I had a feeling that might be inappropriate. Second Hustle. Thrive Retired. Ooh. Freedom Hustle. Hustle Seniors. All right. So maybe you go play around with that and you find one. Great. Um, help me with the brand watch this okay now it helps you with the mission statement 
the target audience, the tone and voice, the visual style, what colors to use. Oh my gosh. It, and then it tells you how to monetize it. This is incredible. Um, then it'll help you come up with the logo. It, on and on. Okay, let's create a um, content calendar focused on Pinterest traffic. Now, I will tell you, by the way, the demographic on Pinterest is not uh, as much retirees, although there are some. So it's not going to be the same as if you did stay at home moms, the, that's the target audience. They're so they're, they're much younger on Pinterest as a general rule, but that doesn't mean you have to avoid it. Okay. Just means it'll be a smaller pool of people, but that also means it's probably not as competitive. So blog posts, 10 tech based side hustles for retirees, blog posts, how to start a blog and earn passive income in retirement, blog posts, three tools to launch. Now, this could also reach Google. You could also share these on Facebook. These could turn into YouTube videos. These could turn into TikToks. These could turn into Instagram. This is just an example of taking one platform and figuring out how to use that platform. Turn this into TikTok videos with hooks. Now it'll change it. 10 tag based side hustle. Here's the hook. Retired, but one extra income? Here are 10 tech psychic hustles you can start today. Think you're too old to blog? Here's how retirees are earning money while they sleep. These two, three, these three tools make starting a side hustle easy for retirees. Okay, you get the idea. And we, we were very literal. We said, turn these into TikTok ideas. When we could say, give me 30 days of TikTok video ideas that are under one minute targeting tech hustles for retirees. And it would give us a totally different set. Anyway... I just wanted to inspire you today was my main focus. I am a coach. I do have a coaching program. Love to have you join us. Links are below. I'm Lori Ballin, and I hope you have a great day today.